Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I am Catherine of Sky and I cannot believe we reached episode 100 of this series. I'm so excited. I've I rarely played a factory this long because I usually like to start over and try to do other kinds of arrangements, but our factory is massive and grand and beautiful and we have train tracks stretching throughout these funky lands with lots of lakes and and it's been a lot of fun and I'm very very excited that we're we're kind of at a very kind of neat milestone. I'm liking it. Um, in this episode, I am going to finish up what we started with the copper mining. But one thing I also wanted to bring to everyone's attention is we are seriously running out of ore at this particular outpost here. I think I'm going to recycle some of these, um, the belts and things at the moment, uh, and just let it sort of die out slowly. <laughs> it is actually taking forever to, to finish this, but uh, hopefully it'll be all right. Um, let me, you know what, I'm going to try to redo the miners so that they sit better here. And maybe we can have more miners on top of this, this whole area instead of the few that we do have. So just get this mined out a little bit faster. Alrighty, let's see if we can do this like that maybe or actually I could do yeah that's a, that works if I do this and then I could do this like that that's more miners that's good let's get uh, lights I should put this on my hot bar instead of those red circuits because those don't really need to be here all right. I'm not going to bother putting efficiency modules into these things just because they're not going to be running for that long. So, all right, we're still missing. There we go. Okay, great. So now we have a lot less per individual miner and uh, hopefully we can get that done a bit faster. Okay, let's go back to our garden path. I love having this path through the forest. It's kind of pleasant and and nice. It's just nice. All right. We're making our way to the copper station. Is this, do I have anything I want to throw out? Mm, I think I'm okay, actually. Okay, good. So let us go back up here where we have... Wow, all the module explosion. That is very, very cool. <laughs> so much fun. Um, I should add lights as part of the blueprint. That's a very good idea. Uh, let's see. Let's just connect up these guys. We can have some kind of illumination for sight here. Good. Great, great, great. I'm very excited about this. It's going to go... This is going to add a huge amount of production to our um, copper smelting area. So I'm quite pleased that we're going to get this done. Okay, let's add, let's get our miners out again. Miners, hello. Where are you? Did I lose them? Oh dear. What are you? Okay, we don't need you anymore. Goodbye. We would like... Aha! That's the one um, complaint I have, is that on the blueprint itself, the minor symbol is very invisible. So, um, devs, if you're listening, could you please fix that? Please, please? Just so that we can see it better. <laughs> it would be very nice. Okay, so now we're back at our conundrum spot that we had last time. But I am convinced it will be okay. All right, let's put these things this way. And okay, up to here is safe. Perfect. What about here? This is this is mixed. A mixed boat. Okay, so that stuff is not going to get mined. It's just the way it is. Uh, even if I put one here. Yep, yep, yep. It's mixed. So we're not going to deal with mixed stuff. Now let's add some nice happy electrical poles here and for these guys I'm gonna need to put a um, do this underground trick here that I usually like to do 
put the power pole in the middle so it uh, connects to those guys. All right. I'm so excited about this. This is working really well. Okay, let's just get rid of some of these side area miners. Good. Now there's one without power over here. Here you go. Half power. So let's look at how many lines we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We actually do have eight of these guys going in. I am very tempted to build an eight by eight uh, splitter balancer thing because some of these places are uh, producing very, very little ore and um, it'll it'll feel better if we, um, if we just put this little balancer on have it go through. Just want to make sure this is not over an area that is unhappy for transport. Okay, cool. Alrighty. So let's grab the, let's see, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Aha! I miscounted. That's okay. I am not bothered about that because... I'm going to go under things here. There we go. I'm going to combine it with one of the shorter ones, like this very end one here. To me, that makes uh, more sense. a rock. Not great. There we are. Perfect. So let's see what research wants from us. Yeah, we're just kind of on our final research quota of um, robot count, which is just fine. It's not too bad. So let's get uh, these belts. Uh, and we'll just, just do the mass belting thing for most of these and we can kind of go this way ish actually we can go through the whole thing can't we pretty much except for this is not needed and this one goes here so get rid of these get rid of these as well and this. Have I got enough belts though? Don't know. Oh, I missed a line. Oh, wrong way. There we go. There we are. Aha! I had an extra space. Not really, I didn't. Uh ha! Okay. Got screwed up slightly there. Drat. Um Yep, we're going to just change this slightly a bit. Go that way. You, my friend, will go this way. Mm -hmm. Let's get rid of this here. Oops, what happened there? Oh boy map. Save. Good. Okay. Something. We'll just keep on rearranging this until it's right. How about that? That'll be the easiest thing, I think. And you'll go that way. Okay. And keep on trimming. Trimming, trimming. Good. 
Oh, I've run out of belt. No worries, we shall get some from the world, from the universe. Our robots shall bring it to us. <gasps> wow, all the copper ore. Okay, that's not great. Um, I'm still in range if I stand here and deposit all this lovely ore into a chest. So I will stay here. And these robots will bring me stuff across the road. You know what I should do? I should build a fancy train crossing for this area, I think. One of those that's, um, that's supported by uh, circuit conditions. Wherever a uh, train signal turns red or whatever, it should close entry. That would be kind of fun. And complete this like little park setting we have here to being more of a like a walkway for people. One lonely person out in the middle of this like alien planet. Come on guys, I know there are, there are robots bringing me belts. Where are they? Aha, here they come. The very slow army of robots bringing belts. Here we go. Just want to make sure we're, I'm ordering 600 at a time. So that should be enough to finish this whole area, I think. Um, but in the meantime, we're also going to get some modules uh, delivered to us as well as, you know what, I'll just order a thousand belts, why not? I think we should have up to a thousand in stock. I think that's what I set the chests to, so I'm hoping could actually go north so they have to travel uh, less far. Oh, and here are my guys from Robot Land, from Module Land. They're coming from the side, that's so cool. Come on. So how many belts? How many of these are I have? To? One, two, three, four, five, five and a half hundred. Come on, guys. We're needing more of these things. Get going. So we have it's ten squares. Yep. Come on, guys. Keep on bringing stuff. I would order more, but I just don't have enough inventory space. I kind of wish that uh, I know there's there's one mod called um, larger inventory I think where basically your backpack size goes all the way down here and you have plenty of space um, very useful of course when you're doing uh, you know uh, playthroughs like Bob's mods and such so where you actually need a ton of inventory space but I certainly wouldn't look askance at having it in uh, vanilla that's for darn sure Maybe Mark Three Power Armor or Mark Two Power. I would give up a RoboPort slot to have like a black hole inventory slot, like have a tiny little singularity that you could install in your backpack. Why not, right? The Romulans do it in their ships. It's not a problem. We can get it organized. Oh yes. All right, let's get finish this line up. Now that we have all the bits we need. Rescue this power pole from useless oblivion so it doesn't feel left out of the world. Um, I'm going to do something fun because I don't really want to kill myself here with this situation. Do this. And then we're going to do this. Underground's the easy way. <laughs> Ooh, I could actually just do this. Probably easier. Okay, <clears throat> and I should get out my corners for this. So what are we doing? We're doing a right turn. Okay, there's this turn. This one is going to be on this level right there. Now we will get our regular belt. Oh, no, 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 no. Org. Org arg. Okay, that's fine. Aha! All right. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. All the orange. Oh, it's so convenient since today my favorite color is orange. Oh, this is great. Oh, it's all racing through all the thingies and all the stuff and it's going and and it's going to be added to the the perfection of the smelting assembly. What a beautiful picture. Isn't that lovely? Okay, so here's the initial buildup of copper that's going along here. 
And this is how our mining is keeping up. Wow, we are getting a very, very saturated belts here. Um, and this is actually starting to build up, if you notice. Wow, that's very nice. Just a little bit it's building up, but it is noticeable. So looks like we're going to have plenty of copper for the moment. So I think we probably should go and start on our, um, our other station. This is good. Good, good, good. Okay, so this is... Okay, so that's splitting off. That's normal. Oh, wow, the buildup is disappearing. Uh, we had a break in trains, but it's still keeping these guys uh, supplied. So this is this is good. We're producing much more copper ore. Let's look at our production stats for... Do we have ore on here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Aw. What about plates? I guess we can look at plates over 10 hours. Well... We haven't, we're having a spike in plate making, but maybe it's not building up. That's for darn sure. So what's going on with plates? Let's click this again. Maybe I'm just not looking at this right. Okay. There we go. Copper plates gone up over the left. Okay. There is our, okay. Here is our very, very dreadful graph of plates where you can see the pulsing of the trains arriving and uh, dropping off their ore and then there's nothing left for them to smelt. And here we are holding pretty steady. Oh, this is good. This is so good. Yay. Awesome. So I think probably the next patch we'll, we'll conquer is going to be these guys. Um, and of course I'll have a train for that. And I want to, thinking of setting up a the ore iron ore over here. And I don't know if I should set up a separate station here. I guess I could. I mean, why not? This iron south is pretty much dead. I don't know if I have two trains going there or just one. Let's see. Iron south. Wow. This, I have an entire train dedicated to iron south. I don't know why I did that. What I should have done is have both of these trains go to iron south and then, you know, stop there for like, I don't know, five seconds, whatever can be loaded, and then go to their main destination of um, Iron South 2 so that they could fill up a full load. Okay, here we're starting to get a little bit uh, less on the belts, but it's okay. We are, I'm, I'm quite pleased with this whole arrangement. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I have, have I, do I have need of stuff? Yeah, I can go and stock up just real quick before we get to the iron section. And I think I'll end this episode here while I do that. So thank you so very much for joining me. I'm Catherine of Sky. Take care of yourselves and each other. See you next time.